Hello, Chris from MyStampLady.com, and I'm here to show you this sponging technique with glycerin. I just love it. All the sponging looks really smooth, and the glycerin doesn't give you, when you add the glycerin, you don't get that spot. So that's the glycerin I used to get that smooth coverage for this card. Okay, I'm also using the Winter Wonder. It's the Snowflake Embossing Folder, the Santa's Sleigh Stamp Set, and the Sl Santa's Sleigh Framelits to create this card. So I'm going to start off right away with the background or doing the sponging and I'm doing it on a piece of the All Year Cheer uh, specialty paper so it's got these gold and silver embossed images right on the paper and that's how it comes. And I'm going to place or sponge pool party over this paper and so I have this is what I'm using is a sponge and then an oven cleaning pad, you know, just something that I can put my ink onto and it won't um, soak in. You can also use a silicone mat. This is a little bit larger and so I have just kind of smushed my ink right onto this little, I got it at um, a, a home improvement store and it just goes, belongs in the bottom of your oven. Okay, so I've taken a little bit of glycerin and I just kind of dropped it right in front and I know I'm going to use other colors so I made a few drops of glycerin onto my oven um, sheet. And then I take my sponge and just dab it into the glycerin and pick up the pool party. Now pool party is a little lighter color so it takes quite a bit of ink and when I move to the darker colors you're going to see that I barely need any ink at all where with the pool party, I probably, and I think I know I even add a little more ink to this, the little pool that I made so that I can get the coverage that I want. And I just keep going back and if I feel like I need a little more of the glycerin, I um, go in and dab it and pick it up and get a little bit more until I get the coverage. I found my glycerin actually at a um, co-op in our area and I found it in the winemaking supplies. Um, otherwise, I know that pharmaceutical places have it, um, and I know you can get it online. So glycerin is actually pretty easy to get it, pharmacies or, like I said, this was used in cake decorating. I said it also, I think, is used in cake decorating. This was used in winemaking supplies. Okay, so um, I got the coverage of the pool party that I wanted to get, and then um, I'm going to let this dry. So it's the little embossing kind of pops through. Oh, I found a spot. I wanted a little bit more um, coverage there. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry. And I'm bringing in two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. And on this, I'm going to stamp in Versamark the deer and then the Christmas tree on the larger piece. So I'm using my embossing buddy and I'm going to use the Versamark, ink up that deer and stamp it onto the Whisper White cardstock. Sprinkle on my silver powder, and I'm using a little coffee filter to catch that um, excess powder. And then I'll pick up and just dump my excess powder back in, make sure I have all of my extra powder tapped off of my cardstock where I don't want it. And I'm doing the exact same thing with the Christmas tree. So they're both stamped with Versamark. Sprinkle on that silver embossing powder and then tap off the extra. And you do have to tap off any extra that you have before you heat set. Because once you heat set it, that excess powder is, is melted right onto your cardstock. And so I wiped, you could see at the end there, I wiped a little bit. I did heat set both pieces with my heat tool. And you just heat it until it's shiny. And then you know it's done. So I, off camera, did both of those. So I just put down, um, I, um, pressed in some soft suede ink onto the sheet, and then I'm picking it up with my sponge. I'm gonna go over this reindeer. Now I am going to cut out the reindeer with um, a die, so it doesn't matter if I go all over, and that's why you see me kind of going all over with the sponge. And next is with a little bit of Tranquil Tide, so I'll press that onto this sheet and then pick up with a different sponge and add the Tranquil Tide. And it's amazing just the difference with the darker inks. You just really don't need nearly as much ink. In fact, I can just do the entire thing with one little 
you know, just picking up a little bit. But that lighter pool party, I really did need to go over that a few times. So I'm going to set these aside to dry. And um, you're going to see that the ink that's remaining on my sheet there, I do end up covering that. So you might want to cover it. The glycerin slows down the drying time. Okay, so now I have my folder. I've positioned my Whisper White cardstock where I wanted that. So the snowflake is kind of to the upper left. Run through the um, Big Shot with the embossing folder. And now I'm just going to mount this onto a piece of Tranquil Tide cardstock for a mat. And um, this is where I'll pull in now my, my card base and the piece that I've already done. So I'm mounting that pool party sponged piece. And you notice I went over my brown there and I got a little bit of brown onto my pool party piece, but thank goodness it's underneath. It's underneath where my snowflake and my reindeer are going. So it's not a big deal, but I end up pulling a piece of paper in to cover that up so that I don't get ink on anything else in my project. So it does take longer for that to dry. So with the fast views, just kind of to the upper top, let's mount that snowflake right down in the center. And I don't have anything wrapped around, so I'm just mounting my pieces as I go. I love the Tranquil Tide with the Pool Party. It's a combination I hadn't used yet, but I just ended up loving it. Okay, cutting out the reindeer and the Christmas tree with the coordinating dies with the Big Shot. And um, you can see the color and it's over the silver embossed. So now I have a really thin strip. This is, uh, let's see, one quarter inch by almost three inches. And with the Tranquil Tide, I will stamp my sentiment right onto this pool party piece. And the really thin piece of cardstock um, is easy to hit with the photopolymer. You can see right through it. And so I really didn't have a problem getting that sentiment lined up onto that extra piece. And the thin piece is really a fun way to add um, a sentiment to your card. So just using Fast Fuse straight down, I am putting down my tree and then I'll put the reindeer next to the tree. And again, with um, the Fast Fuse just flat right on that card base. I really like the Fast Fuse because it has such a strong hold. Um, it does have a learning curve though. You want to do that check mark and you don't want to put your finger at the top of that Fast Fuse because if you do, um, you're going to find that you have a little trouble with, um, with it kind of pulling up. So I've added some Fast Fuse to the back. You could also use a mini glue dot here if you wanted to. Mini glue dots are also very strong and they would hold these down. So I find the position for my reindeer there and put him down. I am putting one mini glue dot on the left side of my strip so that it kind of stands up above the, so flat, because the other part is going to be mounted over the reindeer and the tree, and so it's going to have a little bit of lift. And that's just going to go down with regular adhesive. But then I put that little mini glue dot, or I'm sorry, the dimensional to the left so that it lifts up that left side and my sentiment will sit flat across the front and place that down. I really liked how this turned out. I was really happy with it and I had a lot of fun and I know that I'm going to be using a lot of glycerin with my sponged ink in the future. It just lays down so nicely. So if you have any questions about what I've done, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at mystamplady.com and you can find the supplies in my online store at shopwithmystamplady.com. And if you liked what you saw today, be sure to subscribe to my, my YouTube channel. And you can also find printable directions for this card on my blog at mystamplady.com. Thank you so much for watching.